Hey Faye and Fiends, welcome to Karma Crafts. For just my first year of painting, I managed to complete 40 models with one partially complete. But I have 210 in my pile of shame, as it were. Let's go through everything from year 2020 and see if I can cut through it in 2021. Descent Journeys into the Dark was the set that started me on this journey, and viewers may recall I was commissioned to paint these for my brother. Am I done? Nope. But I'm getting close. At 21 raw models and 18 painted, I'm nearly half done with the set. My goal is to finish this at the latest for Christmas 2021. That might sound a long ways away, but I really want time to make sure that the hero characters sparkle. Next we have Mage Knights, my old childhood friends. I have by far the most of these, at a total of 165. Only 17 of that number have been painted, but it isn't much of a bother. Mage Knights I use kind of like warming up in a sketchbook before a big illustration. I zen out, paint simply, and just enjoy the process. I'm in no rush to finish this collection. I just paint them as needed, and I'm happy to have them bulk out my options for tabletop monsters. I have Epic Encounters Lair of the Red Dragon and Shrine of the Kobold Queen hanging out. I haven't done much other than unbox them, and I'm unsure when I'll get to them, but I plan on painting kobolds of all of the colors of the rainbow when I do. With 20 kobolds and one dragon, I have 21 unpainted models from these two sets. Warhammer has so many cool models that I want, but I don't know anything about Warhammer. I've never played any war games, really, but when I saw this model, I had to have it. So that leaves me with one unpainted Warhammer model. And a deep desire for more. Now we get to a bit of a different pile of shame. These don't come in boxes, since the majority of my models are prints from my 3D printer. Dragon Trapper's Lodge is my biggest offender, since I am a Patreon of their page. I technically have access to 14 months of minis, but for this, let's just count the ones I felt inspired enough to print. I have 15 raw minis, one my wife started painting, and five of my own, including my very important Glade model. I won Reddit's Winter 2020 Beginners Painting Contest with this model, and that in turn inspired me to start this channel. But Dragon Trappers isn't the only designer I buy STLs from. I also have this adorable frog pope from Rachel Canepa's Kickstarter by the same name, two tree frogs from Mini Monsters Mayhem, a gnoll matriarch from White Werewolf Tavern, and a Saurian veteran from One Page Rules. The last two are not fully assembled. And finally, for a bit of fun, I want to show you what I've managed to design myself. This is my very own D&D character, Kayanis Reshikor, a tiefling rogue. I've been playing her in a game with my friends for five years? Probably more. This particular model is a bit too spindly and thin in places, but with some modification I'll have a fully custom model for Kaya. I hope eventually to make models for all of my friends' characters too. Before I bought my 3D printer, I made minis using Shrinky Dinks. Are you interested in how I did that? Please comment below. With enough interest, I'd be happy to make a video. And that's everything I've managed to achieve in 2020 and the beginning of 2021. Let's keep growing and see where we end up by the next year. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new video releases. Tell me, what was your greatest tabletop accomplishment of 2020? Take care and have fun. Till next time.